Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a enemy NPC. You know, it's a basic little enemy NPC. It chases you around, or I guess kind of walks, but it doesn't matter. It chases the player around the nearest player, and then when it touches the player, it kills them instantly. Kind of like, I guess kind of like a horror NPC, NPC in a way. You could also change it if you just wanted to deal damage over time. It's up to you. But I'm just going to show you guys how to just make it so it instantly kills you. But anyway, let's get straight into the video. So first things first, of course, we're going to need an NPC. We can go ahead and click avatar, click rig builder, then click block avatar, right? That's all we got to do. And then just boom, put it like right there. A little close to spawn, but not too, yeah, not too close though. Then we can go ahead and rename it to NPC. Then let's insert a server. Make sure you do a server script into the NPC. Call it um, enemy script. Then we're gonna delete print hello world. We're gonna make two variables. We're gonna get it. We're gonna make an NPC variable. So local, oh, I'm zoomed out. Local NPC is equal to script.parent. And then we're gonna get the humanoid. So local humanoid <clears throat> is equal to NPC wait for child humanoid. Boom. Now, we're going to make a function. We're first going to make the damage function. So we're going to go ahead and knock that out. Let's do four i comma v in pairs. We're going to do we're going to do npc get children enter. Then we're going to say if v is a part or v is a mesh part. Oh, meant mesh part. We want to account for in case a player has um. Is, is either using R6 or R15, whatever your game is using. Then enter. And then we're going to say v.touched connect function in parentheses put hit. Then we're going to say if hit.parent find first child humanoid. Then we're going to say hit.parent.humanoid.health is equal to zero. So we can kill, we can kill off the player. Right? And just like that, we finished our damage function. Now, let's get on to the next function. We're going to next make a function so that we can detect where the nearest player is, right? So, let's name it. Let's first do local function. Let's say get closest player, right? Then, we're going to do close parentheses, then enter. Then, we're going to set the minimum distance. So, we can do local minimum no, I always spell this wrong minimum okay okay there we go minimum distance right I'm gonna say it's equal to math dot huge it's gonna give us it's gonna give us a number you don't even gotta set it but just so y'all know you guys can set a number if you do want to you can set this to a value to whatever value you want but for the video I'm just gonna do math dot huge right then we're gonna make a closest player variable so Local closest player is of course set to nil by default because we need to actually find what player is closest to us and then set the value from there. So we're gonna use another four IV in pairs loop. So for IV in pairs game dot players get players or you can really say get children. You can really say get children. Yeah, let's just stick with get children. Get children do. Then we're of course we're going to get the character by doing local character is equal to player. Oh, sorry guys, did not mean to do that. Not player. V dot character. I'm so used to you using it in different functions, but anyway, anyway though. So once we've got that, we're then going to use an if statement, right? We're going to say if character, pretty much if we locate a character, then we're going to calculate the distance, like how far that character is from the NPC. So local distance is equal to parentheses npc dot primary part or you could say dot humanoid root part but i'm just going primary part dot position minus character dot primary part dot position dot magnitude then we're going to use an if statement so we're going to say if distance is less than minimum distance right then minimum distance is equal to distance that simple and then we're going to set the closest player variable value to of course the player boom 
And then we are going to go right about right here, you know, right here. Then we'll skip two lines and we're going to return the closest player, of course. We're going to return that instance. Then we have a while loop. We have a while loop left to do. And then it's like that we are done. It's, this is the video. <laughs> it's way easier to make an enemy NPC than it is to make an NPC like walk to a waypoint. It was so crazy to me when, when, I, when I realized it was like so much easier. But anyway. We're gonna use a while loop, so let's say while wait mm, uh, 0 0.5. You guys can mess around with this and see what, see what you like. I'm gonna do what we 0 0.5. We're gonna make a closest player variable, the local closest player is equal to get closest player. That's why we did the return, so we can return it right, and then we are going to use an if statement. So if closest player, if we have one. Then we're going to set the target position. So local target position is equal to closest player dot character dot primary part dot position, right? Then we go to the next line and then we're going to move the humanoid. So humanoid move to once again, make sure you do move to like specifically, specifically what I typed. Then we're going to say move to target position and we need back to three coordinates. And boom, just like that, guys, we are done. I know it's way quicker than most other videos. Let me go ahead and click play to test. Let's see if it works. When I load in, okay, the NPC is indeed chasing me. Okay, it is chasing me. All right, so when it touches me, boom, I die. Just like that, it works. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want access to the scripts or model or generally any other model, or script I have in my video, you guys can become a channel member by pressing the join button next to the subscribe button. Shout out to my two current channel members. I really do appreciate the love and support you guys show as well as my other subscribers. I really do appreciate it. We're almost to 1.3 thousand subscribers or 1.3k, whatever you want to call it. Thank you guys for the love and support of the show and I'll see you guys in the next video.